With COVID-19 cases rising exponentially across the globe, educators have been forced to adapt to virtual teaching within a matter of days. With high frustration and anxiety levels, educators face tons of challenges. As an educator, one of the biggest challenge was teaching a math course with a mouse. Solving math problems with the mouse was next to impossible. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, I will be talking about my one companion that has been with me throughout this unprecedented times. After a lot of research on writing tablets, I finally found the best and very affordable Huion 1060P tablet. I cannot tell you what a blessing this was to me, especially because I am a math educator. I cannot wait to share this blessing with you. And I'm super excited to talk to you about all the amazing features and the ease of use throughout various learning and teaching platforms. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The Huion tablet comes in this amazing, beautiful box. I kind of fell in love with the logo. So here is your tablet itself. This particular model is compatible with your Android phones and your computer. How cool is that? Let's just say you're teaching your class on Zoom using your Android phone. You can definitely make use of this tablet. When you're using it on your phone, you do not need any drivers. I've tried it out myself and it works perfectly fine. So all the cables that you need to connect to your computer and to your phone are right here so there you have it these are the two connectors that you need to connect to your phone and this is the cable that you need to connect to your computer it also comes with a glove which i think is a must without the glove trust me doing a math class without a glove is a no-no it comes with this amazing pen that you do not have to charge Ever. How cool is that? Can you imagine starting your class and forgetting to charge your pen and your whole class is messed up just because you forgot to charge your pen? Now you don't have to worry about that. This is a battery free pen. What a blessing that is. This pen comes with a stand and the stand serves as a stand and also as a holder for eight replacement nibs. I've been using Huion for past five months and I did not replace my nib yet. So there you have it. And it also comes with a pocket where you can attach your pen just in case you're using or taking your tablet with you and connecting it to various computers. I like this feature a lot than the pen holder because I can grab it right away when I'm teaching my classes. It comes with a cute thank you card. Of course, they have to thank you for choosing it. Here is your entire guide, your quick start guide, your troubleshooting guide, where to download, what to do. And it also comes with instructions on how to use it with your mobile device. I just want to go ahead and show you how much of a writing area do you have. As you can see, this entire area is your writing area. That is so cool. As you can see, the marks are here. So this entire area is a writing area. Just for comparison, I have my composition notebook here. I'm going to go ahead and lay it flat on the tablet so you can see how much of a writing space you have and i think i have slightly more than the composition notebook here but this is all your writing area especially if you're teaching those stem courses having this much of surface area to write is always a blessing now without further ado let's go ahead and see how this works and the ease of use so the first thing that we need to do is to go to the Huion website download the drivers in order to go ahead and get our tablet working let's go ahead and do that you simply click on www.huion.com slash download I leave the link in the description box below scroll down to go ahead and find your model my model is h1060p Go ahead and pick your operating system, mine is Windows, and I simply want the driver, not the manual. But you also have an option to go ahead and download the manual if needed. I'm going to click Submit. 
And as soon as I click submit here, I have my download button. I'm going to go ahead and download the latest version of it. There I have it. They usually download in download folder for my particular computer. I'm going to go ahead and open that folder. Here is my Huion tablet. I'm going to double click. And I will go ahead and click on the exe file. I'm going to click yes for that and go ahead and click install. Make sure you know what folder you're installing in. So once the installation process is complete, let's go ahead and click complete the setup wizard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect my Huion tablet to my PC. So now let's go ahead and take a look on different tabs on this Huion. So let's go ahead and set up our Huion. Here I have my glove. Here I have my pen. Let's go ahead and start. So all these buttons that you see on your Huion tablet are your shortcut keys, or you I might also call them as hotkeys. So if you press on the first one, you can see that I have changed it to Alt F because I like to use my Alt F and Alt P as shortcuts. And here I have the next one as Alt P. I'm going to go ahead and change another one here. I'm going to change it to Alt. Let me clear the string first. Clear everything, not Control. Simply Alt and H and click OK. In the next one, I would like to do not Control, Alt as well. Alt and clear the string. Let me see, Alt and C. There you go. I have all four shortcuts that I use on a regular basis, but it's totally up to you. You can customize one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve shortcut keys. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the work area. That's what I would like to start with if you have two screens. I'm going to go ahead and click on work area. As you can see, I have my display too, but if you'd like to use your Huion pen for the first display, you can go ahead and select that. I'm going to go ahead and select my second display. And as you can see, the work area, here you have the full area or you have the screen ratio. You can adjust it as per your wish. But I like to use it for complete full area because I teach and I do not want to give any space. I want to use everything as possible. You can also rotate your settings to 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. But I think as instructors, we might want to keep it the same way. Now, the next one I would like to talk about is a digital pen. This is the most important one. As you can see, the top button is the mouse right button. I have changed the bottom one to mouse left, but you can always go ahead and change it to whatever you want. Those are like your shortcuts, but if you want to use them as wheel forward, wheel backward, or double left click, mouse right button, it's totally up to you. But I like to keep one as mouse left and mouse right, just because I want this to mimic my mouse. And the next one is the pressure sensitivity. I'm slightly going to alter it because I know I write with an angle. And let me go ahead and try that. So let's see. This is too much for me. So let me go ahead and do a little bit more. And yeah, I think I like this, this pressure. I like this. I'm going to go ahead and click Apply. And mouse mode also. I want to keep it as a mouse mode. I'm going to go ahead and click apply. So there you have your shortcuts, your digital pen, which has your pressure sensitivity and your work area is all defined. Now, once that's done, go ahead and click apply. So the first thing that I would like to try this on is my Microsoft whiteboard. As you can see, I have my whiteboard open. Let me go ahead and see if I can access all four corners of the screen. Yes, I can. Now let's go ahead and write something. I'm just going to say hello. Oh my God. Oh my God. This feels so smooth. I can't tell you how I feel. It's just gliding. I, I kind of feel like you're rubbing a melted butter on a bread. I'm just going to say welcome. Hope you're enjoying the video. Hope you're enjoying the video. Oh, I forgot enjoying. Okay, because I'm a math instructor, let me go ahead and write something. I'm just going to say y is equal to mx plus b. 
I'm going to say 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. This is amazing. I am simply loving it. It is very, very smooth, very, very clean. And it's. I can't tell you how happy I feel about this one. You have to have to try it out. This is very cool, very, very smooth. Now, the next thing I would like to try this on is Google Jamboard. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here I have my Google Jamboard. Let me see if I can write on this one as well. Yes, I can access all four sides of my Jamboard here. Let me go ahead and write something. I'm just going to say 14x minus 3x plus 2x squared is equal to 25. Okay, I like this. It's a very, very smooth, but I have to say there is a slight lag when it comes to Google Jamboard. I guess it's probably the way the Google Jamboard is set up. I'm going to go ahead and write uh, y is equal to mx plus b. Again, very, very smooth. I can write in my cursive as well. Very, very smooth. I really love this pen. I'm loving it so far. Now let's go ahead and try it in Zoom. So here I am in my Zoom meeting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate my whiteboard and start sharing it because I just want to see how it feels when I use it my Zoom meeting. So here I have it. I'm just going to say welcome to Miss Colas. It is very, very smooth, very, very smooth. I'm going to go ahead and write 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. That's your first problem. Your step 1, it is very, very smooth. So we've seen it in Microsoft Whiteboard. We've seen it in Google Jambo. Now this is Zoom as well. I can go ahead and change my colors. Step 1 is to find, I'm just writing something on top of my head. Fine, I'm just going to say solve for X, very, very smooth. I, I can't tell you, I can't insist how smooth this is. Like I said, it's just like a butter gliding on your bread. Now, once this is done, I definitely want to check in a couple of more applications, which is going to be my PowerPoint and Microsoft Word, because I use those a lot. And I know many of you educators use PowerPoint and Microsoft Whiteboard to write and draw. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So here I am on my PowerPoint. I'm simply going to go ahead and click draw and I'm going to pick my favorite pen here and I'm going to start. I am going to start with ooh, 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. Very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. Now let's go ahead and see if I can draw something on it. Very nice. Let me draw a graph. Very nice. It does take some time to get used to it, but once you get used to it, trust me, you're not going to move to any other um, tablet. But once you compare the price with the other tablets, I think this is a very affordable and I'm just loving it. Okay, that's cool. And let's go ahead and try it out in Microsoft Word. There's my word. And to use the draw feature in Word, you have to go ahead and view this in a print layout. There I have it in print layout. And I'm going to go ahead and try this. Oh my God. 2x plus 4y is equal to 5. <laughs> very, very cool. I'm going to say, how are you doing? There you have it. I have reviewed it. Microsoft Whiteboard, Jambo, Zoom, PowerPoint, and even Microsoft Word. So if you have a family member or a friend who is an educator or a student, help them spread the passion of teaching and the joy of learning through Huyon. Huyon has generously accepted to give 15% discount to educators as a simple way of saying Thank you. The details of the discount will be in the description box below. I hope you learned something new today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
please make sure you like, subscribe. But if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really need this gadget and take advantage of this discount. And always remember, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.